all reviews will be positive. I recently started offering some services on Fiverr. It's a cool little site that you can get some extra cash from, but it was also on this site that I discovered the good review. The person offering the service is doing multiple positive Steam reviews. Here's what's being offered. $5 for the basic, 10 for the standard, 15 for premium. In the basic, you get one review and an extra small promotion for your game. In the medium, you get two reviews and an extra medium promotion for your game. And the premium, three reviews and an extra giant promotion. Every one of them has 150 words in them. You get three revisions and you can rush it and have it done in a day by paying an extra $5. So, like any beginning investigative journalist, I needed to find more information and after some digging, I was able to find answers to what was offered. Greetings, I was wondering about your reviews. I know you write multiple reviews, but will it make my game look good? Is there any way I can see an example of your work? Thank you. Sure, reviews are always positive. I'll attach examples of my reviews. Reviews can be different, short or medium, just to mix them. And included in the message was an attachment to the types of reviews. That attachment will come in handy. Reviews for games are important to help people make informed decisions about what they're getting into, and for a paid review to always be positive, it essentially drives up the rating for the game on Steam. So reviews for games are important because the user score on Steam goes up and down depending on the reviews, and they help people make informed decisions. So if a game is performing very poorly, that will be reflected in the user reviews. For a paid review to always be positive, it misrepresents the game. It's also against Steam's review policy unless there's a form of disclosure. That's why you'll see in reviews people saying that the game was given to them by the developer. In these cases, there was no disclosure to a paid review. Now, I will say, we don't have exact evidence that these are paid reviews. However, in a few cases, the reviews showed up word for word out of the outline Ludens on Fiverr gave me. And then we found a Steam profile by the name of Ludens missing one S with a review for a game and it was word for word. Now, as for the whole you can't do that, Gama Sutra did an article, and I will link that in the YouTube description below. So it's established, reviews will always be positive. Now, I also got confirmation that he'll write multiple reviews from two other places. So for starters, the description for the gig on Fiverr read, I can write up to 100 reviews for your game. So it's a, quite a big promotion for your game in Steam. This, <laughs> this is major. 100 reviews for an indie game can shift the user review score, especially if this game is not getting any players on it. It's a major boost in views. And I, it just, it's, it's ludicrous. And then another message through another account saying, Hello, do you offer multiple reviews on the same game? Like, if you reviewed an indie game on Steam, would you be able to write out 10 or so multiple reviews? The answer Ludens gave was, yes, that's what I'm doing. I can write as many reviews for one game as you need, but I can start on 2nd of September because I'm moving. Now, the reason I bring up moving is because currently the gig Ludens was offering for the reviews is paused. I can't say why, it might have been me. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and just say it's because he's moving. So, there's no regard for ethics in the reviews. It's clearly stated that writing reviews is a hobby in the gig description. But yet, he's charging for strictly positive reviews. Okay. Now, have I found any of those reviews? I believe I have. I can't say for 100%, uh, but the evidence does speak for itself. I did, however, find an interesting Steam profile, like I mentioned, with an almost identical name as the Fiverr seller, Ludens. 
Missing one S on Steam, spelled L-U-D-E-N-S, and Fiverr, spelled L-U-D-E-N-S-S. Ludens had some of the same games reviewed. Most notable was the game Chasing Dead, which showed up on every single profile and every review page I found, and the VR game Room Skill Tower. Uh, Chasing Dead has shown up every single time, like I said, and Room Skill Tower appeared word for word in the outline. Uh, the attachment I received from Ludens led me to all these findings because I would just search Google for the reviews. It was that easy. Um, and basically, let's take a look at these. This, uh, this outline, the first one, reads, Developers are building a historically correct game, and all of the, insert name of the game here, aircraft seem to be accurate with good choice of paint jobs, behaves well, and looks to be made of real blueprints. Real, unusual locations in Asian setting. They also make sure there's something for everyone. Da, 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 and it goes on and on. The last part's important because it helped me find some reviews. It says, I'm running at 60 FPS when I play the game at the highest graphical settings. And I love the action the game delivers. Can't wait to play final version as this is early access title for me. Easily four out of five stars. Ludens gives a review score before he even plays the game. And, and that shows up because he uses the same layout on multiple games. Let's let's go ahead and read here. The review on Carnivora, uh, Carnivora is one of the profiles I found. The review for Chasing Dead, he played 2.6 hours, and in the gig description it read basically that if you wanted him to play two hours, you'd have to pay more. So here, here we go, it says, Developers are building an astonishing game, and all of the Chasing Dead's weapons seem to be accurate, with good appearance, behaves well, and looks to be made of real blueprints. Sound familiar? Then the last part. I am running at 60 FPS when I play the game at the highest graphical settings, and I love the action the game delivers. Can't wait to play their next game. Title for me, easily 4 out of 5 stars. Right? So there we go. He took out uh, different things in the review and replaced them according to Chasing Dead. Now, he did play it for 2.6 hours. I'll give him that. But essentially, Chasing Dead has a mixed review score currently on Steam, and this is after the reviews were dropped. Before these reviews were banned, Chasing Dead had a more positive review score. If we go down to, let's say... Let's say we go down and look at the review for, I don't know the name of this game. It's a flying game. We'll, we'll call it just a flying game. Developers are building a historically correct game and all of the Flying Tigers aircraft seem to be accurate with a good choice of paint jobs. Behaves well and looks to be made of real blueprints. Real unusual locations in Asian I mean, it's word for word. And it makes me wonder, just because I'm giving the benefit of the doubt, if he actually played this game like for himself, wrote the review, and then used it as an example. But then at the same time, I mean, he he gave four out of five stars, it says, and he used that same exact thing on Chasing Dead. So he has no shame in using the same template, which is terrible. Again, we have a Chasing Dead review on a different profile where it says, I have stable 55 to 60 FPS optimization is wonderful it's along the same lines as what was written in the template now he does start to vary in like comicalness but it really can't hide the fact that he's you know using the profiles um all the same the the reason these became interesting to me was because a lot of the games being played they're being played for two hours or less uh and every single review i found uh, was related to a profile and every profile I found uh, with those reviews showed the same exact games and the profiles were private I don't know about you but that evidence speaks for itself there and and it just it's it's amazing that that this is a thing uh, I will say this I don't find what Ludens does to be as scummy as the people who purchase these things. I really don't. Because it shows that whoever paid for this, especially if it was a developer, it shows that they had little faith in their game. Or 
they were already thinking about paid reviews or they they just wanted to get a leg up in the market and it's a shame because one of the games Woodle Tree Worlds 2 whatever it's called that game is it looks promising it doesn't look terrible but one of the reviews has 0.1 hours played I mean it's it's crazy that <laughs> this guy got away with with paid reviews and no one said anything like no one did their homework on this so i decided to what happened well first off i want to say this again if the developers had anything to do with paying ludens to do these reviews these developers had very little faith in their games and that sucks also these reviews could potentially steer users into purchasing games that are being misrepresented. Games may even have stolen assets, and that's just unforgivable. Like, stealing someone's work and, you know, not really doing much and being lazy about it is pretty shitty. The layout provided, as I said, already included a score, and that's just sketchy. That's a terrible way to do reviews. Now, Steam did have a report feature, and I went into that and did that. And then I decided to post the article up on Reddit. I specifically posted it in three subreddits, and the subreddit where I got the most attention was the Steam subreddit. On the Steam subreddit, it got about 91 upvotes, and within a day, we had over 3,000 visitors for the article. And I made sure to fully disclose on Reddit that I was looking for clicks, but also to inform the public. And they accepted that. That's why disclosure is very important. Now, look, here's, here's what happened afterwards. Shoot Your Reload saw an insane increase of views. And then... We took action because a Steam moderator contacted me to say, look, I want to work with you to get these reviews down and also look at the profiles and potentially ban and block them if they need to be. Killa Instinct was his name, and Killa Instinct has been a Steam moderator for quite some time, and I verified his Steam account, and we got to work. Well, he got to work, really. So, he said, could you PM me, PM me the details, uh, like the attached document and the ones you found? Uh, he said, received seamlessly associated accounts and reviews were already banned a while ago. The reason I include that is because before then, they had not been banned. Before I posted my article on Reddit, they had not been banned, uh, to my knowledge. Because I went there and I took the photos of the reviews. And there was no message, like on this carnivore review... To where it said the review has been banned by a Steam moderator for violating the Steam Terms of Service. It cannot be modified by the reviewer. Now, Kill Instinct and myself were a little concerned because these reviews were kind of still showing on the games themselves. The difference it made, though, was it didn't uh, count toward the user score, like, overall. They're gone now. They, they are not showing up. So... This carnivora chasing dead one got taken down. Good. And then we decided after that as the Shoot Tree Reload team, and this is sort of like the end of this, you know, we, we decided, hey, look, it's, it's time to go live with the website and just do shoottreeload.com instead of shoottreeload.wordpress.com. And that's kind of exciting. And that's why I'm doing the GoFundMe. Um, to alleviate some of the costs for the hosting fee, but it won't make that much of a difference, essentially, because in the end we're still going up. I mean, it will make a difference if we get some puns, but we're still we're still going up. I mean, there's there's no doubt about it. But yeah, so I discovered some paid reviews. Um, I'm looking forward to doing more of this stuff. It was really well received. And I had quite a few journalists, ex-journalists, tell me that they liked the article. 
I was shaking at school because of that. And I had like a monster and I was like, oh, it's not the caffeine. I swear it's not the caffeine. It's, it's, it's the fact that people are actually happy with my article. So it, it's kind of exciting. And I, I urge you guys, if you like gaming and you like a different take on gaming, not everyone's going to agree with everything Shoot Shoot Reload puts up, but look out on September 16th for shootshootreload.com to go up and be a thing. If you would like to see it now, it's choose to reload.wordpress.com i will link it in the description below full disclosure this video is to inform you about paid steam reviews paid positive steam reviews ludens on fiverr who currently has his gig paused and i don't know why and i don't know if you've seen this or if he's seen this article or not it's kind of weird and then it's also to say look shoot to reload is going on if you want to donate anything we appreciate it if you want to share any information we appreciate it but please know that we exist, and I'm very dedicated to this project. Thank you all very, very much, and I'm going to call that one a wrap. Have a very nice night, y'all.